Hello everyone, what's up? Today, I'm going to be showing you this origami masu box that is a variation from the original masu box. It's like, it has these four little decoration points, so, yeah. It's also, I also learned that both um, boxes are collapsible, like this, so, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so the model starts with a square sheet of paper. Of course, I am using double-sided. I'm going to just stop saying that. Um, so, yeah, let's just get on to the model. So, <laughs> um, we're going to start color side up and fold diagonally in half. Both ways. So, this is one way. And fold and this is the other. And on fold. I'm gonna make the creases true and turn it over. Um, so this should be the white right side. <laughs> and fold in half both ways. Just regularly, not diagonally. I'll just be reversing the creases. And here, here, here. Then unfold and fold the other way. Gotta line it up. Can't grab that side. <laughs> and crease. Crease. So now you should end up with something like this. We're just going to take these two points. So put your finger on the bottom of the crease while holding it like this. And then do the same on the other side. So you can see the shadow of my other finger. And we're just going to pull them down to the center and hold it there and push. So we have a preliminary base. Um, so now we're going to take this layer and open it up, put your finger all the way inside it, and we're not going to squash it, but instead we're going to pull it so that um, this edge aligns with the middle crease. But only this layer, so this is a hard step right here. So we're just going to take that edge, get it over there, down, right on that crease. Okay, now put your finger all the way at the end so it's creased. Make sure it's aligned with the middle where it's not. Hold it there. And now um, we're going to take it and just put this edge down. Crease it, and then we're just going to close it up. I'm going to do it with all of these sides, so that's like all of these. So we hold it this and all these three edges. One, two, three. So, yeah, I'm just going to crease this so it's aligned. <clears throat> Oh no. Gotta fix this. Alright, so with the other three corners, I'm just gonna um, speed it up for you. Not, just not to waste the time, so feel free to pause the video right now. Ok, 
Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to take this point, just the top layer, and fold it up to this point. So, just going to fold it all the way up, reach it up. And don't force these corners to, like, go, like, don't force them to not go up. We're going to need them. So, now we're going to hold it, and we're just going to crease this part. Hold it right there. And... Now we're going to take it so that this crease aligns with this edge right here. So, just going to hold it down. Just like this. And we're going to turn it over 180 degrees. And fold it like this. So now you should have these two little things. Um, and now we're just going to turn it over and do the same. Oh, and turn it around. And fold it all the way up. Holding the point. Just going to crease these things for a second. Now we're going to take it. So that you see this crease aligns with this. And turn it over. Take it so that um, this little crease uh, ripped. Whatever. It's okay. Won't really affect the model that much. So you see that this crease is running down that line. That's good. Now we're just going to turn it over. And like this and open it and do the same on the other side so we're gonna do the same thing so take this point and put it over here but this time you take these edges and you just crease it down you see these two you just crease it See, it's like the same on like this side, but like this thing, this little triangle is this little triangle, the half and the other half right there. So now we're going to turn it over and from this point up to this time, it's the last, <laughs> um, this point up to this one. And this is the last time we're going to have to do that. And crease these two edges as well. Just crease the bottom. Be careful of these because they could like rip easily. So, yeah. Now we are going to fold this point up to this point where this edge meets this crease. Turn it over and do the same. So, only taking this one layer, like the very top, taking this point and putting it right at this one. Now we are just going to open it up once more. Take this one and do the same. So take this, only the top edge, putting this point right here. Then turn it over and put this point, just the top layer, and put this point right here. Now, we're going to take this, this point and put it right here. Do that. Unfold. Turn it over and do it once more. So, this point right here. sure to just put it back and forth and now we're just gonna turn it over onto the top and open it up push this point in 
boop, and just pop right out, right into a box. Just like that. Now you can just pinch along the edge. So it's all good. And to make it collapse, as in the intro, you're just going to push this point in and pushing these four sides in as well. So just like that. And boop. And now you got yourself the collapsible box. And now you can just open it back up. And yeah, you can just pull these out, this out, this out, and this out. And yeah. So these little decorative point decorative points are there just for well purpose, I guess. Um so yeah. Hope you like the bottle and see you later.